Now let me introduce you to unit 6. Unit 6, it is all about your surroundings. So in unit 5, we have addressed certain social issues. Now, the society is a compact one. Now we are going into a wider range. What is that one? Environment. Right? That is, a person, if at all he is developing, he should be fit into the society and also fit into the environment. Because these two are the two factors which brings about development in the human beings. So this universe, it is what we learn nowadays is the universe is warming up. Right? It endangers life. So is it an automatic fire or is it the man-made thing? Scientists of all the types, they say it is man-made thing. We are the responsible factors for the warming, global warming up. Warming up of global, that is because of we ourselves. And we, if we go out, we speak, oh, it is very horrible, right? And moreover, though it is not rainy season, we are facing rains. And, except, and again, the required coldness we are not feeling, or the greater amount of coldness we are feeling. Why this imbalance in the environment? Because we are going for deforestation. The population is increasing. The man, very what we can say is a greedily, he is becoming selfish and he is just fulfilling his wishes, his needs. Though this world is for every creature on it, we are killing, we are avoiding we are neglecting other species and we ourselves growing. In this we ourselves growing, we are not minding how many trees we have cut it off, how many species of animals and birds they are getting extinct. Right? In our last syllabus, last 10th class syllabus, we were having a beautiful two lessons we were having. One is grooming, the other is animals forever. This animal forever, we read that our universe is nothing but a cobweb. And pressure on one of the strings, it will equally be transformed to every part of the universe and it harms. That way he calls. A very beautiful lesson he has given and also how the species of animals and birds they get extinguished that also he said he has shown how they extinct go extinct he has shown so here these all three lessons reading a reading b and reading c these three contribute a certain amount of thought to you people into what world we are stepping where are we going to so to evade that, to avoid that, what is to be done? Right? Here in the first lesson itself, that is uh, our environment itself, uh, the lady who had been, uh, sorry, who has been awarded for her work, a Nobel Prize, right? Her name is uh, Wangari Mathai. She is uh, an African uh, native and she has done something to the peace of the world and for the environment and so she was awarded Nobel Prize environmental activist Nobel Prize she has received and she had been interviewed by some Japan radio and NHK radio Japan and that is put over here to make you understand how important is forestation is why forests, why trees, and how important is the existence of the trees, the plants, the shrubs, 
the herbs, the trees, the grass, they catch hold of the surface soil. They put the soil together. And whatever water the soil absorbs, that water will be there only. Because immediately after that, there is a bunch of grass, there is a bunch of bush, there is a bunch of shrub, and there is a tree standing. The water which is there, it will be protected there itself. If not, it will be flowing down somewhere where it is combined with some other water. It will be going on within the layers of the earth. So to protect it, to collect it, right, to limit it from its flow, these trees and these plants and these shrubs and these herbs are very much needed. We are cutting the jungles for the purpose of our furniture, wooden furniture. For the purpose of our fuel, we are cutting them away. Right? When it is being cut, that protection is not there for the water. Raining. The raining means the clouds should be stopped by this tree. Not only that, the clouds have to be formed by the evaporation. The leaves, they emit air out and that emitted air out, it is contained water vapor. So that containing of water within the plant, it disappears when we are cutting the trees. Right? So growing trees, planting of trees, it is a must. People, they do it and they allocate funds for it. But how far they are doing? How far they are free to do it? They are not free to do it. Why? Every day or the other, there is a requirement for some establishment, whether it is a uh, economical, that is financial, or uh, whether it is a playground, or whether it is a school, or whether it is a housing complex, whatsoever. We are occupying a very good amount of land, which, is, which should have been the forest land. Right? And here, against that, this woman has worked. She had taught the rural people, the tribal people, how important is the planting of trees. They have put it customary in their custom itself, their daily life itself, routine itself, they have put it that they had to plant certain trees. And so she was awarded. Right? Now about Wangari Matai started the Green Belt Movement and also fought for equal rights for women in Africa. She is the first African woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize. Read the excerpts from her interview with NHK Radio Japan. Now the question, NHK Radio, how did you become aware of the environment? So awareness is a must. If I am wearing this shirt, awareness should be there. Why I am wearing it? That is one. Second, do I look best in this? Second, awareness. Does it fit to me? Third, awareness. Right? If I need a shirt measuring 44, if I take 39, you can understand how aware I am about the shirt. Right? That awareness one should have. Then only he tries to look better. And only then he will make his surroundings look better. So the question is, how did you become aware of the environment? 